So you thinking about moving to Orange Beach think, or Gulf Shores or the surrounding areas? Well, today we are going to talk about beaching on a budget. We're going to talk about what if you come to the beach and you just don't have a lot of money to spend it. Some of you know some of these restaurants can get expensive. So we're going to tell you some of our basically what we'll do another top ten. We're doing a top ten beaching on a budget is what we're calling it. Um, you know, with inflation rising costs everywhere eating out has gotten very very expensive so today what we're going to do is just tell you where you can eat uh without breaking the pocketbook so <laughs> let's get to it Hey guys, if it's your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and ring the little bell for notifications so you could be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about living at the beach, vacation at the beach, moving to the beach. I mean the beach life. We absolutely love it and we think you will too. That's why we do these videos. I'm Andy Hollis. This is... Aileen Fountain. And our entire team, we do these videos every single week just to be informative, just kind of let you know what it's like to live at the beach, to move to the beach, to vacation at the beach. Everything that you can expect, all the good, the bad, the in, the out, the, the ugly, the the pretty, the all, all the stuff that, that has to do with beach life. Mostly good. Mostly good. So <laughs> whether, listen, whether it's nine days or 90 days or nine months until you think about making your move, um, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us a text, uh, send us an email, set up a Zoom call. We'd love to talk to you face to face. We are not scared of you. We will talk to you face to face. So um, we get phone calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day, and we absolutely love it. We love helping people you know, live their dream. So as I mentioned today, we're going to talk about beaching on a budget. We're going to talk about restaurants that you can go to in our area that won't break the pocketbook. So we always like to do lists. We do our top 10. So we're just going to get started with that. So we'll get started with number one. What no, number you want to 10. do number 10 yeah, first? Yeah, we got to go number 10. So first. we'll go number 10 first. So number 10 on our list is uh, what's number 10, Aileen? It's Mikey's. Mikey's is in the heart of Gulf Shores. It is walking distance to so many places that people come and vacation in in Gulf Shores. And it has been there for at least more than 20 years because I've been here for 20 years and it's been here ever since. And it is a popular little spot to eat at. Shocker. I've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been there. Uh, I also <laughs> rarely go there. I mean, this is really just a place that, um, you know, gets a lot of foot traffic in the summertime. Uh, but, you know, and it's it's another one where prices have probably trickled up um, since the last time I was there. That's going to be the case for, for several of, of them on this list, but it still made our top 10. So Cool. Number nine is uh, the original Oyster House. Um, I do not personally eat oysters. So, I mean, I it's know they have other stuff. It's more than just oysters. That is a name, Andy. <laughs> But now, have you eaten there? I mean, yeah, it's it... a lot of seafood. They've got a salad bar. Um, you know, it, it it's not as, as inexpensive as it used to be by any means, but it's still, you know, on a budget. It's You can get a good meal there for a decent price. It's it's big. They, you know, they're very, you know, they're very efficient. That This restaurant's been there as long as I have as well. It, it is right in Gulf Shores, just north on 59, maybe four blocks from the beach. It's packed all the time I oh mean, okay yeah you're you're if you're in summertime spring break you're gonna have a wait there but uh but it is good for a budget so cool and then uh number seven is no, we're, we're number eight i'm is, sorry number eight fish river grill <laughs> yeah so fish river grill is a place that i have been to a ton they have four locations they um are in gulf shores now they opened that one up probably seven years ago or so love it um it's in the rouse's shopping center yeah. they have one in foley and i used to actually travel to foley just to eat there because their food is good it's very reasonably priced um every meal comes with a swamp soup a little cup of swamp soup complimentary and a complimentary dessert and that's that's every time i've ever been there um so their the prices their ones are the prices did jump up post covid so they're not as cheap as they used to be but still but still definitely, a, good, a good bit cheaper than everywhere else and so. they do have a, a fairhope 
um, location and then I think uh, Magnolia Springs maybe. So definitely four locations, hmm. but uh, close to us is Gulf Shores and Foley. Yeah, I've eaten at the one at Rice's. I've never been to the one in Foley, but yeah, it's really good food and it was, from what I can remember, really inexpensive. So yeah. Number seven is, is a place you like to go. Oh, number seven is Duck's Diner. Duck's Diner is, I can't say enough good things about it. I mean, they only do breakfast and lunch That's at right. Duck's Diner, but... I mean, listen, the service is always fantastic. The food is reasonably priced. You get a lot of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they bring you a plate of food, it is a plate of food. I mean, it's a big old plate of food. So, um, yeah, and it, it's uh, right. It's right over there by Coco Island Furniture. I forget about it all the time because it's on Canal Road, but it just sits just back in the parking lot of, of Coco island furniture and so i forget about it but andy's right i mean it's it's really good food for very reasonable cost yes absolutely i mean just phenomenal food and i mean you could get i think what i usually get in there i always eat breakfast even when i go at lunchtime i usually always <laughs> eat breakfast for some reason but it i always get the uh, meat lovers omelet and, and and it's almost impossible to eat the whole thing i mean it's just it's so big it's but it's of just fantastic food at a fantastic price. That's that's a lot coming from somebody who's six three. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, number six on the list happens to be one of my very favorite restaurants. It is my favorite lunch spot. Uh, you will definitely have a, a chance to run into me here because I go there uh, all the time, and that is the Beach House down West Beach. So West Beach Boulevard, and it is there's a little commercial center. It's got like a it's very small. It's got an ice cream store. It's got a seafood where you can pick up seafood, and then it sits at the back of that. So you could miss it if you weren't really looking for it. But it's called the Beach House. They uh, have specials every day. Everything is is pretty well priced. Quality of food is excellent. Uh, as long as you're not drinking there too, because their drinks are delicious and you'll end up ordering two or three drinks and that will obviously um, take, your, take, bill. take your bill up. <laughs> but uh, if you're just going with your family and you're having you know, just normal drinks, no alcohol, very budget friendly and excellent food. Cool. Well, number five on the list is, um, Kitty's. is a Kitty's, Kitty's Cafe. Kitty's is in Gulf Shores. It's over by the movie theater and uh, Target. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Kitty's is... And listen, Kitty's made the list for one reason. And as far as no. I'm concerned, Kitty's made the list for one reason only. And that is because... Well, number one, the food is great. I mean, The food you, is you can very get, inexpensive, Andy. It's you very cannot inexpensive. just say the drinks. But the drinks are really inexpensive. You can get $2 mimosas, $2 vodka orange juice, $2 Bloody Marys all day, every day. I mean, it's... But, but it's, it's, it's like the old school Southern style food, um, and it's old school pricing, too. Yes. I mean, it, and it is a small... Now, here's the con, too. It's a small restaurant. The locals love it, so it is packed all the time and uh so. sometimes it's an hour and a half two hour wait but i'm gonna tell you it's worth it it really is worth it i mean it, it's just phenomenal food yeah and they do they pump it out really quickly um but yeah it, and it's, it's one of those places where you know people say well I'm, i know i'm at the beach but i'm going to be here for say two weeks or whatever or you live here and you th you're thinking i want a good home cooked meal you can get it at Kitty's. Kitty's is the other one that's only open breakfast and lunch, yeah. but their lunch is also excellent and also very budget friendly. So, yes. um, number four on our list is Luna's. Luna's is um, in Orange Beach on Canal Road. Not many Orange Beach restaurants will make the budget friendly <laughs> list, right. I'll just tell you. Um, but Luna's is one of them. It's right next to Cosmos, it's actually owned by the same people as Cosmos. Um, and Cobalt is also owned um, by uh, same people, which Cobalt is on our most expensive list. We'll get to uh, in another video. But Luna's has lunch specials every day. They have a meet and three, two or sides, three it's sides. A, it's a meet and three. Meet and, and it, three, yeah. And everything is basically um, under 20 bucks. I yeah, mean, it, you know, so yeah. it's just, it's killer food. I, again, it's another place where if you say, I really want some home, cook, home cooking, you can get it there. Yeah. I usually get like the, Nashville hot chicken that's, and that's then, a good one. you know they've got like green beans mashed potatoes I mean you know all, 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 all the stuff that you can get and, and like huge I said, beer selection a lot of beer on draft yeah. great bar area but yeah it's good food although I did not care for the meatloaf when I got the meatloaf I've never had the meatloaf yeah. but now they and they another good point about Luna's is they have really good sweet tea I can tell you that they're really good sweet tea never had their sweet tea 
Um, all right, number three on the list, Andy, is, is DeSoto's. DeSoto's. Um, DeSoto's is a very popular restaurant in Gulf Shores, a block from the beach. It's actually on West Beach, a, a, about a, it's across the street from the public uh, city beach. So you can walk to it if you're leaving the beach. But very good pricing, um, very popular restaurants. Another one that you, you may have to wait to get into because it is budget friendly, really, really good cost for the food. Um, in the wintertime, and this is one of these places that even in the wintertime, it stays packed. The Snowbirds <laughs> absolutely love DeSoto's. If you go in the wintertime at 11 o'clock, you will see them lined up outside the door <laughs> waiting for them to open at 11. And basically, whoever opens the door has to open it and get, get out, out of the way because they will <laughs> mow you over coming in to get their favorite table. Um, um, you know, they, it comes with, uh, DeSoto serves these fresh rolls, um, complimentary, hmm. and I'm pretty sure on their lunch specials, uh, for the snowbirds, the, the tea is complimentary too. So a uh, very popular place for, um, eating on a budget here in, in town. So oh, cool. Um, number two on the list is, what is that? It's Cactus. Oh, Cactus Cantina. We love Cactus. Oh my God, yes. I eat at Cactus Cantina at least twice a week. We eat there um, once a week. Um, and you, you can catch me at the one in Gulf Shores. You can catch him at the one in Orange, Orange Beach. Beach. Well, there's two in Orange yeah. Beach. There's one on uh, Beach Front Road, but then there's also one on Canal. Yep. I usually go to the one on Canal. The and locals they, are usually the one at Canal, yeah. and the tourists are usually on the Beach Road, yeah. and then the Gulf Shores one is a lot, also a lot of locals, but... Um, well, the reason I go to the one at Cat at uh, on Canal is because it's, it's, it's literally the across the street from my house, <laughs> so it's so easy to get to. The food is phenomenal. It's very fast. L listen, it's one of those places where I, I kid you not. My wife and I were sitting around thinking we're like we're both, we, you know, because both of us work from home and we're both sitting there. We're like we're just starving, and then we don't want to cook anything, so we're just like, where, where can we get something really fast, really cheap? Well, it's Cactus Cantina. Absolutely. I mean, it's so fast. The food is fast. It comes out really fast. It's really good. It's always fresh. It's very always consistent. The service yes. is always good. Like Andy said, the prices are amazing. Their knockout margarita would make my number one margarita list. Uh, it, it will now that will take your always get your the frozen up, the frozen but, cactus. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, yeah. Um, and they actually have seven locations. So they do have the two in Orange Beach, one in Gulf Shores, one in Foley. One in Fairhope, two in Pensacola, and they're opening up one I just heard the other day in I Mobile. Know that. I so didn't know that. they are they are that good that they are branching out. Quickly. I thought they only had one location, the one I go to, but no, I didn't. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I love Cactus Cantina. Wait, wait, that is a consensus. So number one on our list is C and Suds. C and Suds is um, amazing. They're, they fry their shrimp and seafood and mullet to perfection. It's not like greasy. It's just really, really done so well. They've got the awesome crinkly French fries. They have a small little salad bar that's actually really good. Uh, their food, I've never had a bad meal there. Their food is always consistent. It's always good. They have a great fish sandwich. Um, and it is the pure definition of beaching on a budget because it is dead. And, I mean, right on the beach. It is on the beach. <laughs> so the cons are you got to park across the street and walk over because they don't have any parking. They're right there at the Boardwalk uh, Condo uh, Complex. And then you take a little boardwalk out to um, Sea and Suds, which is literally on the beach. But that place has been there forever, and it is it is such an awesome place. And then Tuesdays and Fridays, they have all-you-can-eat mullet. Forever, it was nine ninety nine. All you can eat mullet, and I think they've gone up to like ten ninety nine. Oh my god! So I mean, <laughs> when we say beaching on a budget, that place is just awesome. Yes, um, you can get uh, actually raw oysters. I know Andy doesn't eat oysters, but they have good, really good raw oysters as well. Everything there is good, so they are definitely our number one. Yep. And listen, if we uh, if we didn't name a place that is your favorite that you think that you know we need to do a video for, put it in the comments. We yeah, there know. there's three or four more that could have made the list easily. Yeah, um, Paparacos. shrimp I mean, basket. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, th there's. <laughs> We could go on and on about restaurants in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, yes. and we actually do because we're getting ready to do a video on the top 10 not budget-friendly right. restaurants at the beach. Yeah, so, then we're going to do a top 10 date night. Yeah. You know, so if you want to so you definitely want to stick so. around and watch those too. Yeah, absolutely. So listen, guys, that's going to about do it for this video. Um, hope you like the content. 
Again, uh, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button, ring the little bell for notifications so you can be one of the first ones to learn everything there is to know about the beach life, about living at the beach, moving to the beach, vacationing at the beach, everything that we know we want to transfer over to you so that you will know. So listen, uh, be sure and watch some of our other videos and remember we got a whole lot more coming up. So uh, until then, hope to see you around town. See you around town.